and welcome to Palette. Today we are at Crazy Moon Hot Pot. My name is Katie and this is Aditi. And we're gonna try some delicious stuff in hot pot and spicy broth that I've never had before. And I'm super excited. So anyway, so let's go. <laughs> Hello everyone, so today we are eating four types of soup. The first one is the spicy beef oil, which has a chunk of beef oil butter in it, which melts as soon as you heat it up. The other uh, soup base is their signature soup base, which is the chow jiao beef one. It's supposed to be um, not spicy. The previous one is really spicy. And then our third soup base is the spicy tomato one which is mild and it's usually for people who want to like explore spicy soup bases but they don't want to like get something really spicy and our last and fourth soup base is the yellow tomato one and yep. the next is we have like multiple types of beef are they still recording yeah um the one that you see here on the plate is like the wagyu beef cut and then the one in the box is the Wagyu beef tongue. And the, la the third kind is the beef chunk zabaton. And the last one that's on the bam bamboo is the shrimp paste. And we have some fried pumpkin cakes that are supposed to be appetizers. So we're really looking forward to eat. They're supposed to be sweet. And then we have two baskets here with various kinds of vegetables, potatoes, leaves, and different types of mushrooms. Great, so let's get started with the pumpkin fried pumpkin cakes. Yes, pumpkin well, cakes. They're kind of warm, I like that. Hi. Do you want that? Ooh. So they have like some sort of pumpkin paste inside? Sweet. I like that they're not too sweet. They're not sweet and they're not too mushy. Mm -hmm. They're a little crunchy. That is true. It's like crunchy outside. Sorry, chewy inside. Mm. That was a good start. It's like not too heavy either because it's supposed to be an appetizer. In the meantime, we should start cooking our beef tongue so the owner said that like the beef tongue we don't we shouldn't cook it too long because apparently it gets really hard to chew you want to try to keep some beef tender because the more tender it is the better it is yeah i'm sorry i'm softer like when you're like lingam's like, like with the rare steak like this mm -hmm. the less cooked it is the less the more here it is so we'll put one in the mild mm -hmm. tomato base and one in the spicy chow jaw base. You could attempt the whole chopstick right, but I'm <laughs> going to fail. Yeah, you can also increase the temperature if it's like not boiling enough. I turn it down a little bit. Oh, I lost my beef tongue. It went somewhere. Okay. Okay, my hands are failing more than usual today. Fantastic. Yeah, that's as much as I'm gonna go. This is it. I like this level of spiciness. It's okay. like a perfect mixture of like spices, like not too spicy, not too bitter. I'm ready to try this beef tongue. Go ahead. It was amazing. I think I'm gonna try like one piece of beef tongue with like every soup base. It tastes like a flying steak. If it was actually like, like it's firm but it's juicy. Yeah. It tastes like, it would taste like a piece of 
like, like a shaved beef, but if it was like a little thicker, a little more texture to it, I like that. Because like a lot of the shaved beefs are like too thin sometimes. I need another one of those of any kind. Of any kind, I'll give you some other. Oh, you say you wanted potatoes, right? Oh, absolutely. So you have to be careful with these because they disappear. If you leave them in there for too long, they'll just get dissolved with the broth. <clears throat> okay. Shrimp. I still don't have visuals on the shrimp. So it's not done. We're gonna wait a little for that. Visuals on the shrimp. So the shrimp is back up. Oh, it's back inside. <laughs> but it has changed colors. You can look like at this. hers. <laughs> Mine has been lost at sea. But yeah, try tasting it. How does it look? How does it taste? There you go. It's like candy. Candy? It's sweet? I just want to keep eating more of it. There's no civilized way to eat this, but like, I don't care right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like eating a cloud. A spicy cloud. It's like a cluster of little shrimp bubbles. Like, all clustered together in juicy little shrimp goodness. I'm gonna have some more. Do you want some? Oh yes, yes please. <clears throat> I was about to say we should start using the, the original broth as well. <clears throat> oh yeah. You want me to put another one in there? Yep. It's really hard to handle. So this is the shrimp paste in the traditional herbal um, soup paste. for seafood like that's not fair how good that is yeah oh. new flavor again like the shrimp paste are like little clusters of like so you pretty much take a shrimp and you grind it all together and then you put it into one little ball and you just eat the ball it's like that kind of feeling yeah shrooms <clears throat> But I cannot leave out the fact that all these delicious mushrooms and potatoes here that have slowly been cooking and eating, which are also good on their own, right? So, I've been staring at these and now we're going to do the short ribs. And I'm going to try to do this in the nicest possible way without making a mess. And I'm going to drop it in the traditional broth with one of those. And we're gonna do one in the yellow tomato one. <laughs> Give those about five minutes to wait for it to cook. It doesn't need five minutes, like maybe like two or three. Yeah. I like, you can decide if you want a medium rare or rare or fully cooked, so. Honestly, I, 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 was, I will always choose mid-rare. Anything mm -hmm. that's well done, you're just losing the flavor of the meat. It's like it's like cooking the flavor out of it. For what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm opinionated. <laughs> Check on this one. Yeah. I think that's medium rare. You want this one? Huh? Or you want the yellow tomato? I want the tomato one. Cool. Try this one. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Um. That is dangerous. I like how there's like so many, like this one and this one is so different because this one is like more herbs and this one is like downright spicy. 
Yeah. You're brave, but I am not touching that spicy one, but you're brave for that. I commend you. I won't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like having a lot of variety. Like a lot of the other hot place hot pot places I've been to, a lot of their soups use the same base. So for so the that, sake like of dexterity, same. let's do one in the spiled and the hex spicy. Yep. Because each base provides a different flavor. So let's try all different flavors. See what happens. So now we are on the last item of the day, which is the marble wagyu. So as gracefully as possible. Looks like we get two for the price of one today. Okay. What would you like yours? Spicy. Spicy it is. Okay. Since you got two for the price of one, I guess I would do the same. Oh. See, you want to be difficult. Okay. <laughs> Just take all three. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm getting three because they are stuck together so prettily. But I'm going to go for the traditional one this time. Now we wait. <coughs> They're done pretty quickly though. I can turn up the temperature here. Okay, <laughs> hey, the wag is so stuck together. <laughs> Why is it so good? It's like thin little strips of like meat heaven. Yeah. <coughs> I think this one absorbs the flavor and the broth a lot better than the other two because it's like so thin. I wanted to try it in the traditional one without the overcover of the tomato mm. spice and no regrets. Watching. Um, I feel like this uh, restaurant, um, I really liked it, especially the spicy brats, because they have a real kick to them. And a lot of the places where I ask for spicy food, it's just like mildly spicy and like not, not a great balance of like spiciness and flavor, but I really like the brats here. So I definitely recommend if it's someone who like really likes spicy food. Yeah, this was my first hot pot experience and it was awesome. Like, food was good, the experience was super chill. I wasn't expecting something this fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, I also like the fact that you could add as little or as much of it as you want. Like, you didn't have to have a little bit. You could have, a, like, some more mushrooms if you wanted, more lettuce if you wanted, and, like, less beef. Like, the choice is yours. and. I'm definitely coming back. This was like, this was really, really good. So I'm definitely coming back. Yeah, the quality of meat is was also really great. I feel like the wagyu and like the shrimp paste. I really like the beef tongue. Haven't had it like in a hot pot setting before. I've never had beef tongue, but I was like, let's go. It was delicious yeah. and I have no regrets. Definitely recommend it. Yes. <coughs> like what you saw and you want to see more content like this um, please like share and subscribe for any palette uh, any content on palette and my name is Katie and I'm a baby and thank you so much for watching and have a good day yes.